TikTok has to be the most godless place on planet Earth. I mean, the people on there are just absolutely unhinged sometimes. This last week, I came across a Twitter page called Wild TikTok Screenshots, and some of the stuff on here is just completely unhinged. Uh, for example, it says here, you know they can feel pain, right? And he responds with being completely fully aware. Even just looking at this screenshot is just terrible, man. He looks like he is absolutely suffering. I can't lie though, I do respect the fact that he is willing to double down and just say, you know what? I am a monster. Next up, we have this screenshot here. It says, it's been a long day and she's literally eating lasagna in the bathtub. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't even like lasagna to begin with, but I think eating it in the bathtub is probably the most disgusting thing I could think of. First off, you are absolutely 100% going to get bath water in the lasagna or you're going to get lasagna in the bath water at some point. But also maybe just leave the bath and then eat lasagna. I mean, just looking at this picture, I can't see this being a pleasant experience or convenient at all. Now that I think about it, you could even put the lasagna on top of the bathtub and you can eat it that way. I still don't recommend it, but I even feel like that would be way more convenient than this. Thinking about that time, my ex wanted to go to couples therapy, so I paid my friend to pose as a therapist, and she gaslit him the whole time. Okay, that is absolutely an entirely new level of insane. You need to take that money, and you need to check yourself into therapy. I feel like going through this page makes me feel like I'm the only weirdo. I mean, thinking about it, it's kind of genius, but at the same time, like, I feel like you have to lose a part of your soul in order to think of a plan like this. Maybe I think you should just break up at that point. Okay, see, this is exactly what I mean. Me, carefully listening to my friend tell their worst traumas in full detail. I'm gonna use it during a round of Jackbox. That is just insanely wrong on so many levels. How do you even think of doing that? I hope this isn't what they're thinking, but the image in my brain is that the entire family is around and they're airing out all of the traumas in front of everybody on Jackbox. I feel like I'm getting anxiety just going through this page. Like, I need to be more careful of the people around me. I'm just like slowly losing my faith in humanity going through here. This one says, bro, I absolutely hate the beach. It's so dirty and understimulating, but my wife wants to sit out here all day. No games, no TV, no nothing. Like you've seen one wave, you've seen them all. Let's wrap it up. Oh my gosh, dude, your life is so hard, man. You want to sit outside at the beach all day? He also says here, it's so dirty. Like, it's literally sand. Get in the water. I think what's ironic about this post too is it says no games, but they're literally out here on their phone. I feel like there's no chance this isn't bait because I couldn't even see like some Zoomer that's on TikTok all day like complaining like this. <sighs> Relationship with cousin is okay until you both broke up and then you see each other in every family wedding. Before we can even touch on the subject of seeing them at a wedding, we have to start with the beginning where it says relationship with cousin is okay. I'm almost completely positive that the universal consensus is the first sentence is already incorrect. Before you can even get into the second half, which is insanely obvious based off of the circumstance, the first sentence itself should be enough of a red flag for you not to do anything. When you're a kid, you also don't realize you're also watching your mom and dad grow up. I did not need to think about that today. There are 11 and 12 year olds that should be playing outside with their friends right now and they're scrolling TikTok and they have to go through an existential crisis. The kids just want to watch a Grimace Shake video. They don't want to be scrolling and all of a sudden break down into tears because they're seeing their parents age. Oh, oh my gosh. Throwback to when granny crashed the Benz. Dude, you need to help her out now. This is definitely the worst time for a photo op. Before you get on TikTok and pull out your phone, you need to call the police like now. You're so grown up for your age. Six-year-old me crying about driving, taxes, figuring out what career I want, what college I want to go to, death, how life is pointless. Okay, you guys are getting insanely way too deep. Was I the only kid that was playing with Legos? When I was six years old, I couldn't care less about anything else except for what I was getting for Christmas. Five-year-old me acting like I don't know what's going on after I put bleach in my grandpa's Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's definitely a charge for attempted murder. What were you guys playing with as kids? There's literally no other way to look at this. Like first off, why are you getting bleach at five years old? But second off, uh, what do you expect to happen by putting it in Coca-Cola? Also, we definitely need to confirm the status of the grandpa right now and make sure that he's still alive. Because in the post, it says, don't know what's going on after I put bleach in my grandpa's Coca-Cola. And I think the scariest part is it's kind of insinuating that something goes down in that time. No, I, d I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Well, I think for the sake of my own sanity, we have to leave it there. If I go down this page anymore, I don't think I'm going to trust anybody else for the rest of my life. So yeah, 